welcome back to Ostrich Investing. So Google reported Q1 results today after after the bell, and I wanted to take um, this will be a pretty quick video, but I wanted to take a quick couple of minutes look at their Q1 results and really dissect what the main reason why uh, the stock price is driving lower. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So let's start by looking at the share price. Uh, over the last couple of months, since our video two months ago, um, the stock price climbed from $1,120 a share to the close today of $1,296 up here on the right-hand side. It's about a 16% gain uh, for the stock over two months. Now, uh, while that is very nice and pretty, you should note uh, at the after hours here, after the release of their results, the stock was down at least when I, um, when I snipped this chart. Uh, was down almost 7%, uh, so down to almost uh, $1,200 a share since the release of their earnings. So uh, the stock price is down 7% in the after hours. So let's jump into some of the key reasons why. Here's a snip of uh, their Q1 uh, results. And one thing I'd note, um, their press release, you know, they do... Uh, they don't give a ton of disclosure. They, they keep it pretty high level. And on the one hand, that's really nice. It makes it really easy for an investor to dissect uh, at least the high level story. But it does leave you um, with many questions around the particulars of their business, especially given all of the different areas um, that uh, Google's or Alphabet, I should say, is involved in, uh, like YouTube, for example, would be one. Anyway. The high level here is that the revenue growth is um, less than 20%, and we'll show it on the on the next slide. Uh, this is just the highlights, and I love this uh, that they show their results. They've got another um, fine uh, from the European Commission, and they the first piece of their press release says, "Here's our results, including the fine gap." And here's our results if we exclude the fine. So we talked about in our initial video whether that um, line item in their income statement related to fines from the European Com Commission would stay and potentially be a recurring item. Well, that obviously uh, that continues here. The big story here is that revenues, 36.3 uh, billion, were lower than the street expected, and I think more materially um, lower than. Um, that 20% growth that they've been hitting for so long. And I want to dive a little bit deeper into the story. So specifically, if we look at Google advertising revenues, you can see that uh, for Q1 2018, it was 26.6 billion. And uh, for the three months ended um, March 31, 2019, so Q1 2019, it's 30.7. That's about 15% growth year over year just on the advertising. And so a little bit softer than that 20% plus that they've been delivering historically. Um, another key point to note here is that their Q4 advertising revenues um, were actually 32.6 billion. So Q1 actually represented a negative growth quarter over quarter from, uh, uh, from Q4 from last year. So going from 32.6 billion Q4 to 30.7 billion in Q1, that's a negative 6% uh, growth or down 6%. Um, so that's another reason for concern. I did actually go back and look at the prior year, expecting a little bit of seasonality and advertising spend in Q4 leading into Christmas could be a heavy month. Uh, did see that in the previous year, uh, Q1 was down 2% quarter over quarter. So it, it Probably a piece of this is some seasonality in the business, but obviously being down 6% uh, quarter over quarter is meaningful and it's it's worse than it had been historically. So that for sure is the big reason why the stock reacted so negatively. Obviously the total revenue includes some other items that we won't jump into, but just advertising revenue uh, is down 15% year over year. Sorry, <laughs> advertising revenue is up. <laughs> You got you to maintain, maintain some perspective here in these videos. Advertising revenue is up 15% year over year, um, but that is lower than that 20% plus that Google's been hitting for so long. 
And if we look quarter over quarter, it is down 6%. Positive note, traffic acquisition costs here are actually trending down to 22%. Uh, so overall earnings per share came in, uh, it came in, I think, ahead of where the street was. I don't follow the street too closely quarter to quarter because I tend to be a little bit more of a long, a long-term investor or take a long-term approach. Uh, but, um, but seeing this tack decrease, I think, is a real positive. So let's just quickly revisit our bold base and bear case scenarios uh, from our initial video. I haven't changed any of the text. I just added a big red box here um, and I think what we are seeing we saw the key driver that we, we kind of put in all of our scenarios is advertising growth and the bull scenario was advertising growth continues 20 percent plus the base is sort of in that 15 to 20 percent range and then the bear is really that advertising growth slows down so 15 percent year over year is kind of at the bottom end of the base case so that's why I've circled both the, both the base and the bear. Um, kind of the, the Q1 results, and again, we're not, gonna, we're not gonna read too much into it, it's one quarter, but if you were to kind of take a step back and compare it to the initial analysis we did on the stock, you'd say right now the results are trending more into the base or bear case scenarios as opposed, as opposed to the bull. Um, and, if you look at the implied share price of $1,400 a share that we had in our base case and uh, a little over $1,000 a share in our bear case, current share price somewhere right in the middle. Um, and so kind of in, in, that, in that range. Um, and that's it. That's all I really wanted to touch on today is just kind of go through the Q1 results. They're there. They're fresh. Um, I was curious myself just to see. That's uh, not often... Um, you get that big of a reaction after earnings, so down 7%. But I think, you know, one thing we know, the, these growth, these tech growth stocks are sort of priced to perfection. 15% uh, growth uh, on a 30 plus billion dollar base is definitely nothing to sneeze at, um, but the market uh, was expecting perfection and the top line is a little soft. So let me know what you think. Does the recent quarter re represent a buying opportunity or is the decrease in top line growth a real concern for investors that, that we should be aware of? Thanks again for watching. Uh, more content coming soon, but until then, happy investing and don't bury your head in the sand.